Hi everybody, it's Winona from Dairy Barn Art. I'm back with a little bit different video today. I did some recent purchases. Um, oh, excuse me, my chest is really sore today. Um, from Prairie, Prairie, Prairie Paper Haven. I needed some art glitter glue. And um, I can find this. Prairie Paper Haven is an online store. Sorry. She's based out of Regina, Saskatchewan in Canada. And um, that's the city that I go to when I need to get anything done. And um, so I picked this up from her last week. So I picked up the big container and I picked up a little container. But unfortunately, she's out of the, um, what are they called? Caps, the, the tips. So she's going to call me when they come in. And I'll get my mom to pick them up. I ordered this kit. I had no idea. This was called um, Six Stainless Steel Pins and Six Nugers. I didn't have a clue what Nugers were. So I had to go online after. Of course, never before, but after. But this is kind of cool. It's a glitter spoon for glitter. And these are for kind of pushing that glitter where you want it. And there's a, a cloth to wipe. Don't do a lot with glitter. And these are pins that work with the art glitter glue. If I could get this. So I might use these to uh, make some dangles with. We'll see. I'll put that in the garbage. And what do we have here? Oh, my bill. And then, um, yeah, I'm on her Facebook group. And yeah you can win something there but look what she sent me as a gift thank you for ordering just for ordering a six by six paper pad and it is nice makes me want to get back into card making which i may do i may start doing a bit of different things besides just junk journaling i love this paper <clears throat> So I cleaned off my desk yesterday. I haven't wiped it down yet. Um, I'm not feeling that great today. I I have asthma, but my asthma is very well controlled. And I woke up this morning and my chest just feels like someone's sitting on it. So I've been using my fast acting inhaler and hopefully it'll get better. But look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I definitely want to make some cards with this. Get back to the old days, things I used to do a bit more of. And there we go. So that's it for that pad. Thank you very much, Jody. I really appreciate that. Oh, that's my parking pass. So I got some papers here and Dreamland. These are from a different companies that I've never known before. But this is um, eight double-sided papers. So there's two of each design and it's Asuka Studio. And I thought I want to do some Golden Book journals. Um, and for those of you that don't know what a Golden Book journal is, You'll have to stay tuned after Christmas in the new year and see what it is. But I want to make some baby ones. And it's always nice to have some some, some scrapbooking paper to go with. So um, that, well, maybe I'll just put that on the bottom. So aren't these cute? Super cute. Say cheese. Isn't she lovely? So sweet. So many of my smiles begin with you and front page news. So this would be cute in a baby book. Oh, and they're double-sided. Oh boy, you'd have to decide. Or maybe you just have it on both sides. I don't know if I could decide if I wanted to make a journaling card out of it. So there's two of those. These will really help in the decorating. And there's some photo um, mounts there. These are so cute. And I do have some um, digital image that I've purchased that I can make paper with. So I could make paper to go with this, this set to use. 
because I definitely want to get making some more digitals after Christmas as well. And then twinkle, twinkle, little star, do you know how loved you are? I love you to the moon and back. That's what my granddaughter and I say every day we, when we leave each other. Um, that's our parting thing. Some days I get, I love you to the sun and back, or I love you to space and back. But that's kind of our thing we do. So that's really cute. Oh, look at this side. These will be awesome. And then, little angel, here she comes. Adventure awaits. These are really good. And I think what I might do is I might cut them up. They, they'd be easier to store as small little pieces rather than 12 by 12 paper. Okay. I'll just put that to the side for now. I have no side anymore. And then... Okay, I'll do these two next. Because these two are also baby themed. This is by the same company, Asuku. And this has 14 double-sided pages. Two of each design. These are really pretty and I'm sure Jody ships everywhere I, I shouldn't say I'm sure but check into it her prices are reasonable and I tell you when I order from her when she ships it out I get it the next day usually this is gorgeous this would be nice framed and just put a baby picture in there or any picture in there oh that's nice too I wonder how yeah Hmm. to think on that one. Oh, is this ever cute? Look at these little guys. Aren't they cute? Oh, I love that. And then the wood. That's a really nice wood grain. Okay. And then we've got this one as well. Oh, isn't that cute? The little hedgehog. That is so cute. And you know, you could maybe slice a little bit here to there for a golden book. If you folded it in half, well, you would have this little guy on the other side. Oh, look at this side. Isn't that darling? It's got some music in the background. That's really cute too. And then we've got some cards, some journaling cards. That takes, when you have this kind of ephemera that you can cut up and use in your books, that takes a lot of time out of the project and makes it a little easier to do. Ooh, fussy cuts. These are cute too. I love the little birdies. They're so cute. I suck at fussy cutting. That, this is beautiful. This is whether it's a baby or not. That's just gorgeous. Makes me want to do some scrapbooking. Maybe I will save some of them. I get myself so focused in something I think I have to do that I forget there are so many other wonderful things that you can do. That's nice too. I like those colors. Oh, this one's nice. Look at that one. And I have feathers that I could decorate with too. With all the frames. Isn't that nice? And the nice white wood grain. Okay, I think that's it for that package. So then we've got Dreamland by the Asuka Studio as well. You can cut these and use these like you could cut this out and use that 
Oh, is that ever sweet? Newman guy's just having a bath and suds everywhere. Oh, I think that needs to be scrapbooked almost. You know, I am having a new grandbaby, but I still haven't done one for Nova yet. These are darling. And then some fussy cuts. Wonder how the scanning cut would do with those. That's really cute too. And some more. Uh, I love these Scrabble tile. They look like Scrabble tiles. These are really cute. Bath time. Let's eat. Baby boy. Oh, these are nice. I'm so glad you get two of the same sheets because how would you decide? Oh, look at this one. I wouldn't even know how to scrapbook besides putting a small picture in there. And that page is adorable too. Hmm. Aww, look at this one. All them guys on their swings. And then with the flowers up top. This is gorgeous. And it's a nice weight. It's not too heavy. It's very matte. And, um, but not really flimsy. Like it's got some tooth. Oh, look at that. That is so sweet. That's going to make an adorable baby book. And that's the other side. And it's got the flowers at the top as well. And then I think we're back to the beginning. They're all messed up now, but it doesn't matter. I can put them back in place later. And then we have this one that I've kind of looked at already because... I thought, those are the colors that, of the journal that I'm working on. Maybe I'll use some of these for some of the tags. This is called Loveland, and it's by the Scrap Boys Art Studio. And made in Poland. Yeah, so. Oh, and we've got this whole page of Fussy Cuts. Isn't that cute? Look at the butterfly. I think I might try that on my scanning cut before I attempt to cut myself. And this is gorgeous. That is so pretty. And then there's hearts on the back. And then this one's in the purple. Look how simple. But it makes a beautiful page. And then this one has some script on the back. And these I thought were cool, but they're a little big for junk journals. You could cut them and put them in a signature. Like you could cut these and then fold them in a signature maybe. And there's brick on the back. And this is just gorgeous. Look at the flowers, that is so pretty. I might use that for tags because you could write on the back of this and I need to keep my tags and my journal cards fairly thin for this journal so. and these two are kind of um, I'm not sure how I would use them at exactly in a junk journal and this may be on the cover you could cut fussy cut this and use it on the cover of your journal and that's beautiful And these are going to make awesome, awesome journal cards, just bigger ones. And I don't even know if I'll decorate them much. I think I might just cut them and leave them as is. And then whoever gets the journal could put pictures or they could simply journal in there. And the back is fine for journaling. So those will probably get used up. And then we're back at the front there. Okay. 
So I've got one more paper pad, and then I've got some an Etsy purchase. So this one, I immediately thought of my mom, and this is Flower Dreams by the Scrap Boys, and made in Poland as well. It's pretty cool. So, oh, look at this. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. Oh, I hope the scan and cut cuts that nice. And we've got this at the top. It's got the flowers. This look like they could be like uh, wild roses maybe. But they're probably, I don't know what they are. And then the birds. Aww. Are they cherry blossoms maybe? Or apple blossoms? I'm not sure. I am not sure. Ooh, I love green. Oh, look at this. This is gorgeous. And then we've got the little bird down there. Oh, that is so nice. And this is this looks like old wallpaper. And this paper too is is kind of the same. It's got that nice feel to it. And then we've got the frames. And then clouds are blue. I think steel magnolias. I don't know why I'm thinking that now. And I don't know what these are flowers. Or if you know, maybe tell me in a in a comment. These are pretty. A nice green on the back. And we've got some journaling cards, and these are just as beautiful. And these would look just as beautiful in the baby books as they would look in any other journal. And on the back, we've got the script. And then we've got a wood grain. Oh yeah, that was what was showing on the back. These are gorgeous. I really have to think of how I would use them though. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to think about that. And then we're back to the beginning. So that was it for my purchase from Prairie Paper Haven. And I'll leave a link to her store in the comments, in the description box below the video. Here's what I got from Caroline, Caroline's Craft Tree. She put this on Facebook. And I just happened to be looking. I don't spend much time on Facebook. Actually, I don't spend much time doing much but you know, getting through life and um, doing my videos. Um, by then I'm just exhausted. But um, I ordered this because it went up and she had, she was having fun dying that day. And the colors were the colors I'm working with right now. And I was, and she's from Canada as well. And her prices are really reasonable. I'll put a link to her Etsy store in the comment below as well. And she says, I hope you enjoy all your new lace. I love all the colors so much. I added an extra tassel. I hope you can find some place to use it. Happy crafting, Caroline's Craft Tree. That's so nice. And this must be some of her digitals that she's wrapping in. But first, I've got this. I don't know what fabric this is. It's it's a little coarse, but it's it's got a light weave to it. But it's awesome, it's, and it's the perfect color. I'm glad, I, I'm glad, really glad we didn't do the cover of the journal yet, because we may, I may be changing up the cover a bit. So then I've got this beautiful piece of crocheted, I'm gonna say lace because I don't know what else it is in that blue, uh, in that purple. And then I've got kind of a mauve color here and I've got the mauve lace as well. Isn't that gorgeous? You could make a nice pocket. Maybe we'll I'll look at the cover and see if maybe we could use that for a pocket in the cover. And we've got this nice um, eyelet trim. Is that what it's called? Why did my mind just leave me? Eyelet? I'm not sure. We've got all these cute little crocheted pieces 
that just look wonderful tucked in and behind things. We'll put this to the side for now. Look at this piece. Isn't that beautiful? And so vibrant. And we've got this little piece. I wish I could crochet. I don't know if that's tatted or crocheted. I'm not sure, but it is really cool. And then some pretty purple lace, lavender, I guess. And this, I love this lace. This, oh, it feels so soft. Some more of this. I'm sure it's eyelet trim. Some more little crocheted little guys. And then we've got this beautiful peachy pink. That's gorgeous. And as you see the papers I bought, all these colors will go wonderful with my future projects. And then we've got some more eyelet. I shouldn't call it that in case that's not what it is. And then we've got it in pink. And look at the blue. Isn't that gorgeous? And some just little laces and trims here. Um, got the blue. It's the same trim, but it's just done in a different color. Oh, we've got this piece here in green. Kind of a light um, tealy color. Oh, and look at the pink. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Oh, it's stuck to the thing. I kind of looked at it this last night with my friends. I was over at friends and um, I had my husband bring it over. I said, if I have any parcels in the mail, would you please bring them over? So we kind of just quickly looked at it, but not too much in detail. These are amazing. I wish I crocheted, but then I'd have to dye them too. And Oh, look at this pink. That's a beautiful pink. So I'll have to put these on cards. All I do is I cut um, an old pizza box or something or a cereal box. I cut it up into, I think about three by three inch squares. And then I wrap my lace around it. And there's another pink. And a pretty green, mint green. Oh, here's some more of that trim. Like there's a lot of stuff here. And there that is. And then more of the purple. Maybe I'll have to do some dyeing this summer. Oh, another piece of this lace. I love this lace. I might put that on the cover of my journal maybe. Or the purple, I'm not sure. And finally, we've got some more of these um, little crocheted flowers. And these are amazing um, to tuck. We'll play with my cover uh, in a future video and see what we can use from this. Oh, and then I've ordered from Caroline before and she always sends these wonderful dangles. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I hang them. I have a spot in my craft room here that I hang them on. That is gorgeous, but look at the one she sent here. I think this is the extra one. Isn't that pretty? I love these beads. So yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'll use it on this journal, but because I bought some really funky beads for this journal, or if I'll just hang it with the others. But anyway, isn't that gorgeous? So that's my haul. And then I've got these digitals that she sent. I can cut up and use those. Oh, another one. So anyway, that's it for my haul, my friends. Take care, and I'll see you in a future video. Bye-bye.